Hi guys. So, um, it's Friday. Yeah, not Thursday. I had a headache last night, so I didn't record. Um, but I just watched. I just watched it. Because, yeah, I needed to lay down in the dark last night. But anyway, off subject. Yeah. Um, the new episode was called uh, You Do It To Yourself. I think that's what it was. And make sure. Make sure it's going. Yes, you do it to yourself. And, um, it was kind of. Mm, it, I won't say it was too interesting because it, it wasn't too interesting but for a moment there I thought the episode was about to end quickly because um okay so the basis of what happened the crime was that um professor got killed and he got shot in the eye two eyes two of his eyes which I thought was weird it actually reminded me of um first you know evil if you haven't seen that movie before and then it reminded me of something else. It was something from, either from a different show or from a, some other movie that I've seen. I was like, that's kind of weird. Someone shooting someone's eye out. It's kind of creepy and morbid and gross. Um, and then, um, what else? So yeah, that's what happened in the case. Before they, they got the case, because you know, Sherlock gets, he gets text, the, the, um, the case from Gregson, or not Gregson, Gregson didn't text him this time, it was the, his, um, detective who worked with him, who actually called Sherlock on for the case, and I was like, that's kind of interesting, the last t- time I checked, where I remember was, they didn't like each other very much, or Sherlock was an ass to him, and he didn't like Sherlock very much, but apparently, that's, oh crap, <laughs> war scars from work, I'm all bruised, bruised up, see the brute, yeah it is, the brute is, but anyway, um, uh, what, but, um, and so yeah, that was interesting, I was like, oh, that's neat, neat. so now they're trying to actually have, really, uh, some kind of, you know, um, not companionship, but, like, he's, he's actually, like, starting to, but Sherlock, come in case with him, and so that was interesting, you know, and Sherlock was actually sick, it, during this episode, which was crazy, because, you know, I've always been fascinated. What the hell he'd be like if he was sick? Um, I personally would think he would be terrible. Like, he would be the worst patient ever if someone had to take care of him. And Watson did try to take care of him. Like, he got the text when she was making him or something. I think she, she took his temperature because he had, he had like a high fever or something. And he was like burning up. And he's like, my temperature is only lowered one degree since you last took it a minute ago. And she's like, still you're at like 101. That's, that's very, still, that's very warm and hot. That's considered danger zone, basically. <laughs> and um, and he just, he's like, he tells her what the, the, what the text says. And then they go out. And of course it's, it has to be raining, doesn't it, when he's sick. And the detective goes, you look, cor- you look like shit. <laughs> he's like, he just looks at him and he's like, um, and he basically, he, you know, he really deduces what he does. He, he observes and says what he sees with the crime scene. And the guy was like, I brought you here to tell me something I don't already know. Um, but if you're sick, that's fine. Like he's like, he was like no, and then he went back down and down to he like actually inspected, like picked up the guy's hand and like inspected and see if he could find something that wasn't clearly visible without him touching him. And then they moved on. They found out that he was a professor, of course. Or like he like looked it up on his phone to find out which which university he worked in, which um who he was and which department because he could find out exactly what he taught by certain things he found on him like there was like this um bracelet on him that um was wrapped around his arm like his wrist and it was like a stringy kind of and he was like the past 10 days in the past 10 days uh because apparently he went out of state somewhere um to this place and it was like Maybe it was Thailand, I can't remember. It was somewhere over there where, you know, those cultures are. And he was like, it's like he was lost there 10 days ago. If he keeps 
his shower set schedule or something like that. And I was like, okay, okay then Sherlock. And then they go and find the guy, well not find the guy, go to his office in, in the university, where it, it turns out he has a TA. So the TA opens the door for him, and the guy who plays the TA looks very familiar to me, and I don't, I'm still trying to figure out if that's the same guy who I think it is, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so this is what happens, this is what it turns out it is. This, this actually might be a small thing, but oh yeah, it depends on how. Um, let's see. First, the TA has been having an affair with his with the, t- the professor's wife. The professor actually is a sadist, and he makes his wife do sexual things while he records it, and he beats her. And so, basically, the kid one time when he he can't he went and was trying to uh, drop something off for the teacher whose name is Trent. Um, he saw her crying, and so he helped her up, and helped clean her up or whatever. And then, they I guess they just kind of liked each other or whatever. Which, I'm very worried about those type of things, because it's technically wrong. It turns out, the dude wasn't even her, I mean, she wasn't even his wife, lawfully. Okay, he promised her when they moved and came to America that he he would marry her. He didn't marry her. He, he failed on that promise. And so basically, she's um, uh, not recognized as a citizen of the U.S. And what happened is, what happened now is, um, so they're gonna have to, despite, because they thought she was the one who killed him. First, they thought it was this, he got he actually was a hitman first. They thought it was, but the guy ended up having a strong alibi. They checked out, and because they found it on the, uh, it was on a videotape in the the gambling place where the husband was because the husband was he he was a gambler um and um so he went there so they went to the gambling place and they found the video tape and they found the guy who they thought had killed him and that's when i thought the case was over like why is this too fast and it, it wasn't because it was like the that was like barely started maybe we were 10 minutes in or something like that and so it didn't end up being that guy, so they came and found the wife, because I guess there was something tying to the wife, I can't remember what it was, because they found the phone in T.A.'s apartment, and, um, and then he thought it was the wife, because the phone belonged, it was a burn phone, burn phone, if you don't know, it's a phone that can't be traced, you just it's like a little phone, basically, and they found one, and the only number that had been called was um the TA's number I think. Wait no it wasn't not the TA number. It was the guy Hitman's number. And um so they thought first they thought it was the TA who did it, but it wasn't the TA who did it. It was him, the the actual man who was died. He did he, he did himself. This let me break it down. How how this happened. Okay. First. He found out about his his um well, I don't know if he found out about the fair first, but he found out that he, because he couldn't see sometimes in his eye, so he had melanoma, which is a very serious cancer. And he, he's, the only thing that were important to him was his intelligence, and I guess, I can't remember the other part, Sherlock had said it, it was like intelligence, and um, it was his mind, intelligence, I guess that's what it was. Maybe he said no. And with that, with this problem with his scene, he didn't seem happy or whatever. And, or he couldn't live with himself. So, he planted a plot. A plot had out of this. He found out about his wife and the TA who were together. I don't know if they were sleeping together. I just think they, you know, liked each other or whatever. And, like, they hung out. He, he saw them together like hanging out talking she was like cuddled up next to him like on the steps outside his house i think that's where it was or maybe it wasn't at the house i don't know but um then um that triggered the revenge plot where he he had a feeling that the woman would be, he would get it blamed on his wife or why if he he she would take his wife and um and so he deleted all the videos off his computer where 
he recorded, you know, he put all the recordings of the, of him, of her, of him making her do sexual things. And then, um, what else, what else happened? And, and then he called, he like went searching for, for someone who can do hit. And he put like a package under Rayul, that's the name of Hitman. It put it, um, put a package of a thousand dollars under, um, under the door of his, of the Arayo's apartment, um, cause he searched and found him on a sexual assault website, like, like, a sexual, a silent website or something like that, I guess you, I guess you can search for that, I do know that for your state or city or something like that, you can search on the internet. There's another one before him, but that guy apparently charged too much. And, um, cause I guess he approached him, and Raul wasn't even looking for anything to do. Even though he has a rap sheet, he has a rape against him, and a couple other offenses. And so, he wanted to take the money, so he would get a thousand dollars. He got a call right after he picked up, I guess picked up the money, and it's all words inside. He would get nine thousand more dollars if he killed the man, Trent. And so, he did. He went, he was gonna, he's supposed to, apparently, um, shoot him, because he actually said shoot him in the eyes. Um, and he was supposed to do it and wait until he got into the parking lot, but apparently the guy overstepped his boundaries and didn't want to wait. So he went into the gambling uh, place, and he shot him, point blank with the mask on so no one could see what his face looked like but before the 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 man who owned the place he had another uh, camera shot the one I guess that's outside of the place where where a, a bouncer was waiting or something and um so that was that was, that was okay I was like wow this is a lot it's a lot in this plot and then on the side because you know there's always a personal story with this story with with elementary there's always the case side, and there's the Watson home side. In the Watson home side, there was a really funny part that I love. Um, okay, so Watson made him tea, right? Well, she was supposed to make, give him coffee, but she made him tea because he was sick. And I'm guessing they're pulling from the fact that Watson and, or Lucy Liu is Asian American? I'm gonna guess that's what it is. She said her mother used to make this tea very when she was sick, younger, when she was younger and sick, and it was supposed to help with a lot of really interesting things. She said, like, she's had the medical terms for it, and I forgot what it was, but one of them was, like, an erection, and I was like, how was I supposed to help him feel better? It's kind of weird, but, um, you know, what apparently he did, he start, he's like, this is a tea, I'm British, and this is not tea, and I was laughing, I was like, you would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would know what tea is like, do you? I'm actually, I've got, I'm not a tea person, honestly. I love all different British things, but I kind of want to try their tea, because I don't like the American tea at all. <laughs> I really don't. I just think it's terrible. And maybe I just need to find a way to, I, I just need to go to London, okay? We go to London or somewhere in the UK and try tea. Try their tea, see if it's, uh, any, if it's good compared to this because I think this stuff tastes like watered down some kind of stuff and so I don't drink tea the tea we have here maybe I just need to order some from somewhere is the Earl Grey any good? I always hear about the Earl Grey tea we have some like in the stores in um, here but I don't know anyway I'm off subject I started talking about tea and then, then that wasn't breathing I could help it and the joke was there um and so apparently then apparently he likes this tea now First he was like, this is not tea, this is not coffee. He's like, I'm Brit I'm British, this is not tea. And so she's like, yes, yes it is. It's something my mom used to make me. And so he's like, then later on in the episode, he's like, can you make me some more like tea? Cause he's stuck on, on this part cause he thought, cause the woman was crying cause she, she thought they were gonna take her. Cause then she revealed that she was, wasn't married to the man. That's when she said she told them about the ruse that he lied to her in order to get her to come with him to America. And then, um, what happened? 
Yeah. So then they were going to take both T.A. and Lee's life. And they took them both in. And apparently the guy confessed for some reason. I don't know why he confessed. That was stupid of him. Why would you confess to something you didn't do? That's just stupid. Anyway. Um. Then. Okay, so Sherlock was. He was like. And Walter was trying to figure out why it was, why was it upsetting him so much that this woman was about to be deported. Because he doesn't technically know her, you know. And he's like. I hate the fact that because I'm because I'm wrong because you know when he gets excited and thinks he knows if he, he thinks he's right he like really goes down and try and get them to tell to confess and the woman would not budge like she, she even tried to show them the video on the camera I mean on the, the computer but they were gone so it's like oh you're lying to me you're lying to us again and um so Sherlock's like I hate the fact because I'm wrong that she will be that I'm taking a mother away from her little infant and I was like oh Sherlock can I hug you I know he would never hug but you know I just I just oh, that was just a bad time and so he found a way this is the part when the, the preview for the last episode for this episode came in when they show Sherlock in the bathroom and Watson comes in and you, it makes more sense in context when you watch the this part of it, and um, um, what happens? Okay, he finds supposedly this is new place to think about everything, so he's like old case, new. He's like old data, new thinking space, and so he's sitting on the toilet, just crop, like sitting there, you know, in his thinking pose, and he has all around him like all on the walls and on the floor there's like a data even has streams you know in the bbc area where Sherlock has that wall dedicated to the case and he has all these strings coming and showing where connections go that's basically what was there all over and she's like well i need to take a shower she's like wait and then she finds something that um that, tie, that ties into the murder and helps helps them theorize how the man killed himself and and in the end everyone gets so apparently the TA and, and the girl was supposed they were gonna get married actually she was gonna leave Trent and she was gonna marry the TA and so this is what happened so important important for her not to get deported and Gregson did something awesome which it's not it's not uncommon for him to be awesome and nice but um he as a man of law, you're not you're supposed to go by the rules, and so he he says, if you'd marry her today, I have someone waiting to help make sure that she doesn't get deported. Maybe he's like, I can't make any promises, but I can help make it not happen. And so that made me happy. I was like, oh, Gregson, you're so nice. <laughs> and so yeah, they they get those two lovebirds getting married, which is a weird thing for me to like because it's. it's but technically, since they weren't married, the dead guy and the lady, it's okay. It makes it okay. <laughs> it's funny how that, that works out. And, um, I'm not done talking either. I'm almost there. Okay. I'm almost done. Just in case anyone is like, oh, is she, is she done yet? Yeah, I'm almost done. So, um, the other thing with Watson, you know, there's all, I keep bringing in these guys for Watson, like, from her past, or someone she just starts dating, or whatever. So this guy's from the past. Apparently, he was a he. Well, they made it seem like he was her client first, and then they had they just started having sex, or they were they were romantically involved. It turns out she was dating him first, and then he became a client when he became addicted to something. And so, um, they thought he 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 thought he blacked out when and and hit the hit and run. Turns out. Sherlock, which I think is kind of weird because for some reason I don't think he's, <laughs> this is my problem with this Sherlock sometimes, sometimes I feel it's a little, he's a little too human and it kind of bothers me because I know he's not supposed to be and so I was like wait, he, cause he got the, he got, he got the, the warrant, the arrest, 
I mean, the, the documentation for his arrest, the, the patient, he didn't look, he said, I didn't look into it, but I did get it. And so he got it from, um, I'm guessing he got it from Gregson, I'm not sure. He looked up and he got the file for the, the man, his name is Liam, who's, who was walking for it. He's like, it's there if you want to look at it. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to investigate it, I'm just saying. And then she finally looked at it, she's like, well, I looked at it, and it looks like there is one thing missing, because she gave him some kind of charm or something that, that doubled as um, a mirror and something else as a keychain. It was like a mirror. I can't remember what else it was, because it was for his um, car keys or something. And he kept it. It was a Christmas gift from when they were together. And apparently wasn't there. And then he noticed it wasn't there. The actual guy, Liam, noticed it wasn't there. And then he was like, yeah, it's not there. So somehow they found, they found out, they found the guy who went on a joyride. Because apparently in the neighborhood that the guy lives in, people might jack people cars all the time and go on a joyride. And so they arrested that guy. And so she's like, someone will be here to... Um, really see soon, <laughs> whatever, and he was like, I know, because he had caught on Liam, he had said that Watson, he's like, is that what you do to people who you sleep with, you just freak, you, you just leave them hanging like that, I was like, oh man, you, you're not nice, you're not a nice dude, and he's like, yeah, I'm sorry about that, I didn't mean any, any of that, I was just upset, I was like, yeah, you better be fucking upset, you idiot, I don't treat Watson like that, you know, y'all know I'm kind of weird about the whole female Watson thing, I do think it's, she has, she kind of has an interesting history. It's kind of, kind of weird to know that she slept with the client, though. Like, that's, how, if I was, like, some kind of person in that kind of field, I just wouldn't do it. Like, no matter how strong the sexual attraction is, that's just wrong. It's legally wrong. Ugh, I don't know. Does bias opinions come into play and all that? But she almost left that guy hanging for all in this episode. And I was like, oh wow, I hope she doesn't, because that's kind of, that's kind of harsh. Because they looked they, look like they had a good history until he got addicted, you know? And, but, it was a pretty good episode, I liked it. And sure like had this t-shirt on at the ending, which I loved. So it's, it's a red. And it has the word B on it, but it looks like the rest of it kind of reminds me of a, a spade card from, you know, playing cards. And I was like, what is, what is this? But it says B on the top. It, I'm like, it's a cool shirt. And I liked it. And I kind of want them to do another reference to B's. Because I like things like that. Anyway. The new episode. Oh, crap. What was the new episode about? I don't even know now. Mm. Dang. Wait, wait. Did I watch the preview of the next episode? I don't know. Did I? I can't think right now. I have a headache. I really do. But, um, so, I will see you guys soon in a vlog. Maybe, maybe, maybe this weekend, actually, because tomorrow I'll, I'll be with my best friend. We might make cupcakes. I love cupcakes. And I've been having the stuff to make the cupcakes for a while. So, you might see me doing awesome doing that. I might make a little vlog of us doing it. With, like, the final product or something. I don't know. I might do it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed all my talking about Sherlock and, well, I mean elementary, but this isn't technically, it, it is, but it's not, you know what I mean, if you know, if you know what I mean, it's like this or something, I don't know, anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys if you feel like, you know, tell me how your day is going, dude, do something, give me your honest opinion on, you know, what you thought of this episode, how are you, are you feeling good about elementary, what, what's going on? Um, oh, I'm actually going to, it's actually from the show, from Matthew McGoober, Matthew, what did I say May, Matthew Gray, Google, I do not feel good right now, I don't, my throat hurts, but, just, at least I didn't do this last night, that would have been bad, because my head was hurting worse, and, and this morning, my throat was like, uh, it didn't feel great, like it was really sore, but anyway, um, uh, like, favorite, subscribe if you wanna. Not out, not Mandarin.
this is you if you're watching it. I mean, it's, it's your choice to do if you're watching. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Soon, very soon. Um, yeah, so, bye.